Welcome to the recap of the first annual Lawrence County Classic Disc Golf Tournament. Brought to you by the Lawrence County Disc Club and sponsored by Dynamic Disc. Be dynamic. The Lawrence County Classic was capped at 90 players that ranged from professionals to novice and included men and women disc golfers. Once arriving at Scout Park, the players were greeted by the club sponsors from the Lions Club and the Lawrence County Disc Golf event officials to get checked in and awarded their players pack from Dynamic Disc, the event's main sponsor. The Lawrence County Disc Club started in late 2015 and have many government leaders and officials who frequently play our mini courses. Once the players were divided into their category and put on a card, they were sent to their prospective starting hole to wait for the signal of a car horn to start the tournament. After the players finished up at Scout Park, they took a lunch break and met back up at St. Joseph Park for their second round. This course isn't a flat field like Scout Park. It is wooded and rewards players who can shape their shots. The tournament ended in a tie in many divisions, so a sudden death playoff was used to single out a winner in those divisions, and ace pot money was awarded for those who got aces during the tournament. Second place was Zach Bowman. And your NPO champion for the Law Co. Classic, Mr. Clint Ride. Yeah, good win, man. $215. Uh, thank you guys again for coming out. I uh, really appreciate y'all. Y'all have made this the smoothest thing that we could have ever done. Um, thanks to my sponsor, Hat Tip Disc Golf. And uh, hope to see you guys out at our other two tournaments this year. Here is Clinton West, who are the event organizers for the tournament, to give their perspective and highlights. Okay, guys, hey, now it's time for us to recap our last event. Uh, it was the Lawco Classics, the first annual Lawco Classic. It was a uh, tournament that, that incorporated two courses, our original course in, uh, in Lawrenceburg Scout and Hope Springs Park, and then we came down after lunch and played St. Joe. Uh, it was June the 15th. Uh, happy birthday to, uh, to Wes Beavis there. It was his birthday I, I tournament. I think everybody got that vibe out here. Though. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, about the, uh, about the Lawco Classic, we, uh, we capped it. It was at 90 players. Uh, it was a really great day. Uh, we, had, uh, we had a lot of really enthusiastic people out, um, lots of volunteers, lots of spotters, things like that that really helped us make the tournament really smooth, run, run great. Also, along with the tournament, we had a... Uh, sponsorship players pack agreement with Dynamic Disc. Uh, Derek Savory, Justin Dunn, all those guys that, that work at Dynamic Disc, they help us so much in the preparation leading up to a tournament. Uh, they're the guys that work behind the scenes at Dynamic Disc in Emporia, Kansas to, uh, to put together your players packs, put together all these deals for you that you know, where you can come pay $50 for a tournament, get yourself in, play two rounds, have a great time, but at the end of the day, you're walking home with $95 worth of stuff, $90, $95. Um, without Derek Savory, Justin Dunn, um, Jeremy Rusco, the, uh, the people within Dyma Dynamic Disc, um, that wouldn't be possible. Uh, and with that, we'd like to thank you guys too for, uh, for your efforts and your, your tireless hours helping us and helping people all over the country put on disc golf tournaments. Some of the highlights that we had during the Lawco Classic, we had three aces um, by three different people. Uh, we always love to see that because there's, a, there's always a, a, a huge ace pot, uh, sometimes a club ace pot involved. Uh, some of those aces that um, you like to see on, uh, on a few of those holes were, were hit that Saturday and uh, I'm sure they were really great. Wes actually had the opportunity to be on both cards, two cards on two aces. That's right. So, on my birthday round, I was really expecting me to get an ace, didn't get one, but I got, did get to witness two, and sometimes that's just as good. Josh Braswell on hole uh, seven at Scout round one threw a beautiful shot, and also my round two uh, card partner, Clint Kimbrell from the Huntsville area, hit uh, hole 15 out here, so that was uh, really awesome to see. And, you know, it's one of those things you see when the whole card kind of just goes crazy and, you know, a bunch of camaraderie and bro hugs after that, so. Yeah. Another ace uh, that day was from uh, Skylar Lowry. 
Uh, Scholar showed a lot of dedication that day. He actually was on the waiting list. He was messaging me about midnight the night yeah. before, uh, he, wondering uh, if he could get in. He wanted in this tournament so bad, man. He uh, he actually did a great job. He he helped us set up at Scout, um, sat there, sat there, sat there, sat there, waiting to for somebody not to show up. Um, that happened about 15 minutes before the start of the tournament. Um, somebody didn't show up. We closed uh, check in. Got Skyler in there. He was uh, he was number 90. Uh, we had dropped to 89. He was number 90. Uh, comes out and then smashes an ace in his second round at uh, hole eight at St. Joe. His first ace. His first ace. Uh, that's kind of some of the stuff that that happens within the sport of disc golf that you know you don't you don't necessarily expect it to happen. Uh, but there's a lot of people that that get into this. Um, we have guys like like Kevin Jones and and Michael Andrews and Paul Gubernon and guys like that that have not been playing very long that have made such huge strides over the last five, six, seven months. Um, that's the thing about disc golf that you need to understand. And I know there's probably going to be a lot of people that have played disc golf that are watching this video. But if you're, if you're thinking about playing disc golf or on the fence or don't know if you want to make the investment of 40, 50 bucks to get you some disc and get going, know that it's, it's not ball golf. It's not. Um, I think we both love ball golf pretty good, right? right. We like uh, the links every once in a while. Disc golf is cheaper, and disc golf is easier. Disc golf is a lot more forgiving, and right. a lot more centered toward the amateur player. Uh, a lot more centered toward the the recreational novice, uh, first time player. Uh, you can come out to any one of these parks in Lawrence County, Tennessee, and have a great time with you, your family, your wife, your kids, uh, any age, as long as, if they can walk, they can have a good time out here. It's literally a game for everybody. It really is. If you'd like to stay up to date or get involved with the Lawrence County Disc Club and play our mini courses, then follow our social media sites linked in the description below.